welcome back to my channel in this video guide i will show you how to fix tales of the shire or uh, the lord of the rings game crashing or not launching or lagging or showing black screen error on pc so let's go ahead the first solution is to restart your pc whenever you face any kind of issue while playing the game simply restart your system once so click on start option over here and then click on power and then select restart this will restart your pc after this launch the game and check if it's working and you can play the game without any further problem if not the next solution is to run game as administrator for that you need to go to the steam go to the library section where you have downloaded the game select the game that has been downloaded here i have not downloaded the game so i am showing the steps that you can follow for the game so select the game from here right click on it select properties then go to the installed files after that click on browse option from here and this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed so go through it select the game application from here right click on it and then click on properties after this tap on compatibility and then from here click on run this program as an administrator after that click on apply and okay and then check if the issue is fixed if not then click on run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select windows 8 and after that click on apply and okay and now try to launch the game and check if it is fixed if not the next solution suggested is to verify integrity of the game files for that again go to the steam over here go to the library section select the game right click on it select properties then click on install files and after that click on verify integrity of game files after you verify the game files now launch the game and check if the issue is fixed if not next solution is to modify launch option for that again go to the steam go to the library section select your game right click on it select properties and here in the launch option you need to type minus tx11 and then try to play the game and see if it's working if not you can type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and check if this solution is working the next solution is to update graphics card for that go to the search bar over here search for device manager now go below and expand display adapters over here right click on the graphics card select update driver and after that click on search automatically for drivers this will search for the best drivers and will install it on your device and after that check if the issue is fixed or to update your drivers simply go through the link that i have provided in the description and after that download and install the drivers and then check if the issue is fixed if not the next solution is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the search option over here look for windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature then click on change settings here find your game if it is listed if not then you need to click on allow another app over here then click on browse and from here you need to add the game to the list after it is added simply select the game click on both public and private boxes and after that click on ok and then launch the game and check if the issue is fixed if not the next solution is to disable in-game overlays for that you need to go to the steam select under the library section select your game right click on it select properties and under general you can see enable the steam overlay while in game option is enabled simply you need to click on this and it will be disabled after this try to launch the game and check if the issue is fixed for geforce experience simply open geforce experience tap on the gear icon beside username tap on general and then from here switch off in game overlay option for discord overlay simply go to the user settings click on game overlay and from here turn off enable in game overlay option now try to launch the game and check if it is fixed Next solution is to clear download caching. 
for that go to steam select steam option from here now click on settings after that go to the download folder from here and then go below and here you need to click on clear cache under clear download cache option after clearing the download cache now try to launch the game and check if it is working now next is to close unnecessary background task for that go to the task manager under processes tab check for the apps that is of no use or consuming high resources and simply select it right click on it and click on end task this will close the app that is running unnecessarily and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution is working next is to update windows for that go to the search option over here search for check for updates option this is this will directly land to the windows update interface now click on check for updates option from here if any update is available simply update your windows and then launch the game and check if this solution works for you next is to install visual c++ files for that i have provided the link in the description go through it open it in your browser and then download and install the latest visual c++ files for your pc and then check if it is working for you if not the final solution suggested is to reinstall the game for that you need to go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage and then click on uninstall option after that finally click on uninstall option this will remove the game and completely uninstall the game from your pc after that restart your system once and then reinstall the game once again and then try to launch the game and see if the crashing or not launching issue is fixed or not so whatever issue we are coming across while playing the game following these methods will obviously solve the issue and you can play the game without any interruption so that's all for now thank you